Hi, so in this video we are going to learn the divisibility rule of 17. The rule says find the difference between the five times of the digit at units place and the number made by rest of the digits. If the difference is divisible by 17, the original number will also be divisible by 17. If a rule can be used on the number, then the rule can also be used on the difference to check the divisibility. So let's take a few examples and try to learn this rule. So the first number I'm going to take is 700. And 65. We have to take this 5, 5 fives are 25 and the number made by rest of the digits is 76. If I find the difference 76 minus 25 gives us 6 minus 5, 1, 7 minus 2, 5, 51. 51 is 17 multiplied by 3. So 51 is divisible by 17 and that is why 765 will also be divisible by 17. And now let's take one more example. Let's take a four digit number this time. Let us take 9945. Again, the digit at units place is 5, 5 fives are 25 and the number made by rest of the digits is 994. And if I find the difference, 14 minus 5 is 9, 8 minus 2 is 6 and 9. So we have got 969. So either you can divide and check its divisibility by 17 or you can again apply the divisibility rule of 17. So digit at units place is 9, 9 fives are 45 and the number made by rest of the digits is 96 and 96 minus 45 is 51. So this 51 is divisible by 17 we have seen over here and this 969 will also be divisible by 17 and 9945 will also be divisible by 17. And now let's take few more examples. So the number I'm going to take is 59,670. 0 multiplied by 5 is 0 and the number made by rest of the digits is 5,967 and the difference over here will be 5,967. So when you have a zero at units place, you can actually omit that zero and check the divisibility of the number made by rest of the digits because finally you are going to get that only. Here we got 5967. 7 multiplied by 5 is 35 and the number made by rest of the digits is 596. If I find the difference, 6 minus 5 is 1. 9 minus 3 is 6 and 5. Here again 1 multiplied by 5 is 5 and the number made by rest of the digits is 56. 56 minus 5 will give us 51 and we know that 51 is divisible by 17. So that is how we can say that 561, 5967 and 59670 will also be divisible by 17. And now let's check the divisibility of a smaller number. So we take 34. All of you know that 17 multiplied by 2 is 34 but here I am taking for a specific reason. Here if I multiply 4 by 5 we get 20 and the number made by rest of the digits is 3 and when I find the difference I subtract this 3 from the 20 and I get 17 and we know 17 is divisible by 17 and so is 34. So why I have taken this example is because when the number whose divisibility we are checking is small you might get the units place multiplied by 5 as bigger number than the number made by rest of the digits. In that case you have to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number while finding the difference. 